My name is Holt Skinner, and today we're going to explore how to use Gemini models in Vertex AI on Google Cloud. This video is designed for developers who want to build scalable, enterprise-grade applications that use generative AI, or LLMs, at the core. Things like chatbots, agents, image recognition, document understanding, text and code generation, and video processing. Google has a lot of products that use Gemini, so let's take a minute to clarify what each of these do and who they are designed for. If you're a general consumer who wants to use generative AI, then check out the Gemini web app, formerly known as BARD, at gemini.google.com. If you want to use Gemini to streamline workflows in Google Workspace, then check out Gemini for Google Workspace, formerly known as Duet AI. Or if you're a Google Cloud user who wants to use Gemini in the Cloud Console or IDEs for assistance with general cloud tasks and code generation, then look at Gemini for Google Cloud. And if you're an independent developer or a small team, then you can use the Google AI for Developers Gemini API. Now, for what we'll be focusing on today, Vertex AI is a managed end-to-end -end AI platform from Google Cloud. You can do everything from custom training and prediction pipelines, fine-tuning, Jupyter Notebooks, and API access to the latest generative AI models from Google, partners, and the open source community. And as with all Google Cloud products, it has lots of enterprise-grade features like scalability, security, and compliance. Let's look deeper into the Gemini model and understand why it is so powerful. Gemini is a family of multimodal generative AI models developed by Google DeepMind based on the transformer and mixture of experts' neural network architectures. For more about how these types of models work, check out this video by Dale Markowitz to learn more about them. The latest version of Gemini at the time of this video is 1.5, and it comes in a few different flavors, each specialized for different use cases. The two we're going to focus on today are Gemini 1.5 Pro and Gemini 1.5 Flash. Both of these models are natively multimodal, which means they can understand text, code, images, documents, audio, and video. Gemini Pro is our best model for general performance across a wide range of tasks. Gemini Flash is our lightweight model optimized for speed and efficiency. Gemini 1.5 has a long context window of up to 1 million tokens for Flash and 2 million tokens for Pro. This means it can process enormous amounts of data, such as 2 hours of video, 22 hours of audio, over 60,000 lines of code, or 1.4 million words. So let's try it out. We're going to get started using Vertex AI Studio in the Cloud Console. This lets you quickly explore and customize generative AI models so that you can leverage in your applications. You can find it in the Cloud Console under Vertex AI. On the Overview screen, you can choose to interact with Gemini using Freeform or Chat Mode. Chat Mode maintains a conversation history and uses that context throughout the entire interaction, whereas Freeform is more meant for general use cases that don't require this. You can also go to the prompt gallery to see all sorts of pre-written prompts with data that demonstrate the capabilities of Gemini. You can filter by the types of data, tasks, specific features, or prompt types to find exactly what you're looking for. Let's start with a basic example to show how Gemini can summarize a news article. In the console, you have space for a prompt, system instructions, as well as media, and specific examples to provide to the model. In this case, we'll use Gemini 1.5 Flash, but you can select other models in the drop-down menu. You can also adjust model parameters like temperature, output token limit, output format, and safety settings. We'll leave the default settings for now, but you can learn more about what these do in the documentation linked to the description. Let's see how the model responds to our request to summarize this news article. The response looks pretty good, but let's say we want to improve it further we can go down to the magic wand icon to try refining the prompt. We can describe how we'd prefer the model to respond, and it'll suggest a new prompt for us. Let's say I want it to be more casual and written for a longtime Harry Potter fan. And the new prompt worked. We can then save this prompt so that we can easily access it later in the prompt management tab. We can also click the Get Code button to get pre-written code in multiple languages that have our prompt and parameters already added. And there we go. We can move from prompt to API call pretty quickly and get solid results from the model. We've just begun scratching the surface of all that you can do with Gemini. Check out the Jupyter Notebook linked in the description for a more in-depth guide of how to take advantage of this powerful model. And while you're there, explore the Google Cloud Generative AI GitHub repository. It's full of hundreds of examples, notebooks, and demos that show you how to get the most out of Generative AI in Google Cloud. And if you come up with something cool and want to share it with the world, feel free to make a pull request. 
My team and I maintain this repo and we're always looking for more use cases to add. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Thank you.